for a question like this on the GMAT, um, you want to focus on really what the question is telling us, which is that why is the smallest positive integer such that when 3150 is multiplied is multiplied by this y, we will get the square of another number. So that's the key idea, making sure you can get that statement written out properly. Well, the, the key idea here is to understand that the only way you can get a number that's a square is if everything on this left side is a pair, meaning if you have twos, you have two twos, you have two threes, you have two fives, whatever the numbers here, you have to be two of everything for this to equal to the square of a number. So because of that, let's see what numbers we have available in the 3150. So if you do a factor tree, what you want to do is go ahead and break that down into 31, 5 with a 10. That's a really good way to break that up. Because this ends with a 5, 3, 1, 5 ends with a 5. We know 5 goes into that, so we can go 5 one time. Um, and then that goes for 63. And then if you break that down some more, you get 7 and 9. You break the 10 down, you get 2 and 5. Um, so at this point, this is pretty much all we have in terms of breaking it down. Well, we can break the 9 down into 3 and 3. At this point, we have a situation that looks like this. So we pretty much can tell then that we have um, 1, 2, okay? We have 2 3s. We have 2 5s. And we have... 1, 7. And all of this should equal n squared. Well, times a y. There's a y there. Okay. So based on what we said earlier, we said that if this is going to be the square of a number, if this is going to be a square, everything here has to be paired. So right now we have a pair for the 3s. We have a pair for the 5s. But we don't have a pair for the 2 we don't have a pair for the 7. So as a result, this gives us a hint of what this y needs to be. Essentially, this y will have to be will have to take care of the fact that this 2 doesn't have a pair. So this y has to include that 2. And then this y also has to include a 7 as well. So if you think of a y that needs to include a 2 and a 7 to to so in such a way that this can not be a square, it means that the y must be 2 times 7, which is 14. So as a result, that's your answer. Thank you.